Over the past few weeks, we've looked at what the Bible says God is like. Here are some of the words that we thought about. You might be able to think of some others too. We've looked at the word holy and what it means. Can you remember what some of these words mean? God's holiness is to do with being apart from all others, being pure and being without sin. And we've looked at what it means that God is loving. We thought about how Christians believe God hates sin, but he loves his creation, so he is forgiving and loving towards people. The question for this unit is what does it mean if God is holy and loving? We're thinking about what it means that he's both of those things. Our learning objective this week is to consider how believing God is holy and loving can make a difference in the world today. Here's some questions for you to think about. What if God was only holy and not loving? Would he be angry at everyone for sinning? Would people be able to pray to him? Would he be approachable? Or what if God was only loving and not holy? He might not mind how people behave. Everything would be acceptable. People might treat God as a friend. They might be a bit too familiar, perhaps. What do you think? Do you think it would be better for God to be just one of these things? Just holy or just loving? Or is it better that he's both? Christians read the Bible as telling the story of a relationship between God and humans. They use the Bible to help them know what God is like. His holiness shows that he hates sin and is separate from it. But on the other hand, he loves his creation and wants a loving relationship with people. This means he has to show forgiveness and love and grace. Can you recall different sections on the big freeze which show God's holiness? What about God's love? The Old Testament shows how people could only go to God if they were clean. When God gave Moses the Ten Commandments, no one else could go up the mountain as they were considered unclean and couldn't come before God's holiness. But then in the New Testament, we see how Jesus was killed, dying for the sin of the world, but that he rose again. And this shows how God is so loving. For Christians who believe that God is holy and loving, it makes a difference in the way that they live. So your task this week is to write some guidelines for living in the world today. You could do your own version of the Ten Commandments, if you like, or something similar. Your guidelines should show your understanding of how God is holy and also loving. For example, the fact that he does not like sin, but is forgiving when people say sorry for the things that they have done wrong. So a guideline might be, be kind to people, but if you do say something unkind, say sorry. Try to include guidelines for personal living, for family, and the wider community, for example, clubs and groups that you belong to. Include a short paragraph to explain what you think should happen if somebody breaks the guidelines you've written and why. If you'd like a challenge, you can answer the question, how can God be holy and loving? Remember all the words we looked at and what holy means.